Hey guys, Oscar here for another garage. Thanks for joining me once again on my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what I'm gonna say, don't forget to give me a like. If you want, you can give me a like right now. Anyway, have you been watching the Jake Paul documentary with Shane Dawson? I wanted to talk a little bit about that because sometimes it seems to me like you have to be a total goofball for you to, to be able to succeed on Facebook. I mean, on YouTube. You have people, first you have the outrageous Paul brothers like Jake and Logan Paul. Obviously, everybody makes fun of them saying, hey, you know, everybody makes fun of them because they say, oh, look, at your audience is all, you know, 11 and 13 year olds and little kids. you're failing to notice that that's a huge group of people. And in five years, they're gonna be adults with spending power and decision-making abilities and influence in the world around them. So it's really, really scary to see how the Jake Pauls and the Logan Pauls of the world influence these people. And they're doing one of the smartest things. This is what the, cig the cigarette companies, the drinks companies, Basically, every big company has been wanting to do for as long as they've been around to capture the consumers as soon as they're able to understand the words that people say. Because as long as you can outlast that period of time when they're kids to when they become adults, you will have that audience pretty much forever. Think about our, our generation. What are the things that we remember? The cartoons we watched in the morning, the shows that we watched, the products and, you know, the, the drinks and foods that, that our parents got for us and stuff. But now, the kids make those decisions where they get to pick what they want to see because they have iPads and phones and a lot of them have unrestricted access to social media. So, in a way, either either by accident or on purpose, Jake Paul and Logan Paul are masterminds of marketing. And Jake has said before that he wants to be the first social media billionaire. I totally believe that's gonna happen. The guy's 21 years old. You know, he already has massive influence, millions of subscribers, millions of views on every single video he puts out, selling mer merchandise like crazy. But then going back to that thing about being goofballs and kind of idiots, I mean, even Shane Dawson, I believe he has 17 million subs. His videos go through the roof, crazy, you know, amount of engagement and views. But the guy is just an actor. He always talks like this. And then he whispers. And he makes those little faces. Oh, and everything he says is so dramatic. Everything that people tell him, oh, he looks around. Oh, like he just discovered the greatest tragedy in the entire history of humanity. I mean, it's just an act, guys, but, but it also makes me wonder, is that what we have to do to, to get you guys to engage, to get you to, to like the videos? Because if you really look at it, the quality isn't that great. It's entertaining for sure. They're not making great hum humanitarian changes. They're, not, they're basically just storytellers and clowns. That's, I, I don't mean that in a derogatory way. If I had, if I had the, I don't know what it is, if I had it in me to be a, an actor and be joking and making funny faces to you and all that stuff, I probably would do it. But it makes me wonder, do we need to do that as business owners? Do we need to be idiots, you know, idiots, in order to attract attention? After all, they say all publicity is good publicity. So if you get called out for being a, uh, an actor or a clown, is that is that bad? Pe people are still gonna watch your stuff and out of 100 people that are gonna watch your stuff to see why people are talking about you, some of them are gonna say, hey, this is actually kinda cool. And they're gonna follow you. We have a lot of goofy stuff out there that has gone viral, like the the Spice, uh, what is it, the Old Spice commercials. The tickets are now diamond. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. Now they're a little worn out by now, but when they first came out, they were ridiculous. But they capture our attention and everybody was talking about it. The, the potpourri 
little spray commercial. Whether you need to pinch a loaf at work, cut a rope at a party, or lay a brick at your boyfriend's, your days of embarrassing smells or prairie dogging it are over. Poopery. Our business is to make it smell like your business never even happened. When it first came out, it was hilarious. People were sharing that just because it was funny. Great script, great acting. I got the message across and it was just funny. But you understood what it was. Going back, you know, to the early, to the late 90s, I guess I'm dating myself now, but what was one of the most popular videos? Everybody in my generation knows. I'll give you two seconds to think about it. Leave it in the comments if you knew what it was. Otherwise, I'll tell you it was Jackass. And Jackass became a national and even worldwide brand. For what? Literally for being jackasses, you know, either pranking people or doing stupid things that resulted in a lot of injury. And if you watch some of the videos out there about the aftermath, where are they now? What's happening now? Unfortunately, a lot of the people in Jackass have serious, serious health issues, emotional issues. At least one of them is dead as a direct result of those antics. But they sure made a lot of money and they're sure known across the world. They're famous, but at what cost? And what did that spawn as far as the people watching, the younger generation? For example, maybe not me, maybe not my generation because I'm guessing, I'm, this is obviously anecdotal, but I'm guessing that most of the people my age, when Jackass came around, we were a little bit past the, the, the age where we wanted to do that. You know, they're maybe early college, late high school, but the younger people, the people in, in grade school and middle school that were looking at those and maybe see how we idolize them and say, hey, you know, my, my cousins, my brothers, my uncles are, are really watching all this stuff, so it must be interesting. So now those are the people that became the pranksters and the jackasses of today, like the Jake Pauls and the Logan Pauls, but you can't fault them for basically taking that and owning it. I can't stand the guys. And I, and I, I don't know them personally, but at a, as a personality, I can't stand them. I don't like their antics. I don't like their, their language. I don't like what they do. They're annoying, but they have something really, really, really magical as far as business is concerned. And this is the type of stuff that we like to capture as business owners, and we try to capture it. You know, people try to tell you all the time that they're going to help you make a viral video. That's not going to happen. A viral video comes out naturally. Sure, you can feed traffic to it. You can make it stick a little bit because you can feed it. It's like like seeding it, you know, like you can plant a, a seed and you can try to water it and stuff. But if, if the nutrition for the seed isn't there, it's just not going to grow. It just so happens to be that they have all the elements that make things go viral. Their videos, again, get millions of views. So. The ultimate question I have in just today's video is, do we just have to be like goofy, careless knuckleheads in order for our videos to take off or for people to engage with them? Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I will be back tomorrow with another video. Our podcast from last night went great. I'll have the links down in the description below as well. So you can join that. What are you doing? People are idiots. It was just cutting me off for no reason. So anyway, um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.